So this um, particular lot is estimated in the range of twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Now, keeping in mind we're selling twelve hundred items at auction that weekend, November eighth, ninth, and tenth. Um, this is just one of the highlights that we're selling. Um, first time on the auction block. Th we're just making the announcement now, so the world hasn't heard about these x-rays. So that's the exciting part of being here to really announce this is a part of history, pop culture history. It's Marilyn Monroe and people who are intrigued by her always and forever. And that was one week after her 36th birthday. It was also, also the same day that the next, when she went to work at Fox Studios, um, she got fired. Um, so the x-rays were taken in the middle of the night. She had a fall between 2.30 and 3 a.m. There's great speculation as to who was in her company that evening. Um, but she did have a fall, and her uh, psychoanalyst, Dr. Greenson, um, brought her to Dr. Gurdon uh, for uh, treatment and for observation. And Dr. Gurdon then referred her to the uh, X-ray radiologists, um, Dr. Steinberg and Dr. Conti. So they took the X-rays, the six X-rays all together. Um, and it just gives an insight into um, her nose and her, her jawbone and her dental work. Uh, and also there's references in the medical chart to the fact that Marilyn Monroe had first had plastic surgery going back to 1950. And again, the world is going to be really say, aha. I mean, nobody ever really thought about Marilyn Monroe having plastic surgery. It was always speculation, did she or didn't she? They thought she was such a natural beauty, they didn't want to believe. And that's also at that time, going back to the 1950s, people didn't go for plastic surgery procedures. This is very, very new. But again, Marilyn Monroe was always cutting edge, always futuristic, always seeking to improve herself and better herself, always wanted to be number one. And I think that's what the x-rays will speak to. Yeah, plastic surgery, cartilage implant in the chin. She had some uh, rhinoplasty at the tip of the nose. Not structural, but just some, some uh, a nose job, as we would call it today. Um, so that, those x-rays spe speak to that and keeps her fresh. And of course, she, during that period of time from 1950 to 62, she started in some of the most famous movies, How to Marry a Millionaire, Bus Stop, Some Like It Hot, The Misfits. Um, she was she was hot at that time, and she worked it, and worked to be number one and be that beauty that we all know and love her for today.